Welcome to Pot Pilgrims. Today we're here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Everything that grunge did and Nirvana kicked off in 91 was basically what the replacements were doing six or seven years earlier. How do you feel about the interview? About talking to Tommy Stenson? Yeah. Pretty intimidated. <laughs> That's it right there. I'm in a parallel park. My older sister had the front room with the alcove kind of in it. And which and where, did, where were you? And we we were sitting right in front of that, uh, right in front of the between the two windows, right on that the roof. What can you tell us about the day that you shot the? You, you know, so long ago, I can't remember a whole lot about the actual day, but I remember we sat up there for a good long time trying to figure out, you know, how to get the right shot because not enough room to move, and Daniel Corgan had to kind of like really grapple the edge there and get that right shot. It was kind of rough, you know? Getting them together was, ha was half the battle because Tommy would wander off or Bob would be doing, you know, sticking his finger in somebody's ear. The Let It Be house, that shoot was actually a reshoot. We rescheduled to shoot at their house where they're doing their, uh, had their practice space. We were already a band, we moved here, yeah, and we put the basement together and had our little rehearsals down there. We just decided to go outside up on the roof. My sister's bedroom was the one right there. That was my little sister's bedroom. So we crawled out that window to get up there. You can see in the back of that, you can see her with softball trophies and stuff. Uh -huh. No one really in the neighborhood really knew what the hell we were doing. So it wasn't like, oh my God, that's you know, crowds of people watching us do this thing. It was like, it's any old day, you know? Yeah. And that image has taken on such a like sort of iconic life of its own. You know, do you ever I mean, do you have any awareness of that? The fact that like your sister's bedroom has like this weird mythological status in the <laughs> indie rock world. People can make up all kinds of crap they want about it. When you're in it and, and it's part of your daily life, it's not like you have this sort of surreal existence. It's like, this is just regular life to us. We had no idea we were gonna leave a mark like we've left, you know? We didn't have any clue about that. The picture's been analyzed a lot, whereas beforehand it wasn't at all. You know, it's just kind of, let's see what happens. Even after we made that picture and we're looking at them all together, I still insisted the elevator picture was better. Insisted. And to my eye, I still like it better as a picture. But thank God I didn't listen to myself. And that was a lesson that I learned a long time ago. Is that if you had a good editor, trust him. I don't think I've actually been standing in front of it in 20 some years. Yeah. Before the replacements were to have our first gig, my brother and I we were climbing what is now looks like it's been chopped down, but there was a little row of trees back here, <clears throat> and there used to be a white picket fence here. We climb up on this tree they've obviously taken down and fell out of the tree, land on the picket fence with the armpit. Ambulance comes and gets me. Luckily, it didn't slice my arm off completely, just, you know, all the muscles and shit. If my memory serves me, I think the gig that we almost had was opening it for Gary Newman at the Civic Center. That's what I think. I could be mistaken on that. Well, it's funny because Paul and I have been recording the last two days <laughs> just down the street. And this whole thing, doing this the day after we recorded, is it, a little emotional. It's, it's <laughs> a rough day and a rough last night, too. We had a great time. And the funny thing about all of that is we never... We never had like this big blowout, he and I, and we didn't really break up. We didn't just say, ah, we're breaking up. We just kind of left it there. And I was joking with someone that's, the placements are still kind of on that tour bus that we got off of, you know, in 91. It's still out there just <laughs> waiting to pick us up again. Mm -hmm.